are not many places like where we are, folks. Been coming here five years. I love hunting here. It kicks our season off whenever we get a tag. We've got this giant mountain behind our lodge right here out in front of us. We're rolling in. These guys are really accommodating. Great, great uh, friends. And they've got a great operation here. Uh, it's definitely one of the most exciting hunts of the year, that's for sure. All right, let's go see the guys. It's quiet in here right now. What's up, buddy? What's up, brother? How you doing? Very good. How are you? How's your trip? Very good. Good to see you. Missed you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, it's good to be back. Here. He's, um, awesome. I think he's doing some shopping for tonight's dinner. You ready to kill something? Yeah, I am. We're gonna unload quick and try to get out. Is that all right? Tonight? Gonna go scouting tonight. You gonna do the east side? Is, yeah. Okay. I think so. They're gonna be a little bit more west. They're still on the east side, but they're putting in power lines. That's what your dad said. So they moved them a little bit more between the power line and that little ditch they come up. Holy cow. Getting the stuff out here. A couple of bows. Always gotta have a spare bow on these trips. Got a good spot for a target down there. I'm gonna run the bulldog down. We can probably shoot 50, 60, maybe 70 here. Gotta be prepared when you come out here. I always say a close shot on a muley is 50 yards. We've been practicing all year, 80, 90, 100. That makes those 60, 70 yard shots a lot easier. I'd say we're ready to go. I think government or state, whatever, decided to put a new power line through here. So this big funnel the deer used to come down is now a road. So I don't know what to expect, but let's get a spot to look and see what's going on here. Between tonight and tomorrow morning, we'll be able to figure it out. Last year, the last night we were here, saw a great big deer like a mile away come out, race through this finger of woods, got over there, couldn't see it, couldn't see it, was sitting there. All of a sudden he popped up over the hill and it was the great big four by three we were after. He was a monster. If we would have left like one minute earlier, we would have got a shot at him. a little bit they used to come up this hill I guess now if we see them go around the hill we're gonna bolt up the new road it's good morning to me 
Usually takes a few days to kind of figure them out. It's probably a great idea to show you some of the gear we're going to be using on this hunt. This is a very demanding hunt. It's a lot of fun here and there's a lot of animals, but it's a tough hunt. So the first thing you need is a good pair of boots. I'm using the Sport Chief Bobcats. Go up to my shin, give me lots of ankle support, lots of traction, and great all-day comfort. I really enjoy wearing these. The next thing that's most important on the list is probably optics. I'm rolling with the new Stierka S7 10x42 glasses here. I've also got a spotting scope for the morning hunts. As you know, this year at Hardcore Pursuit, we're using the bare bows. I always say that a close shot at a muley out here is 50 yards. So you gotta be prepared, you gotta practice, you gotta have good equipment. Another great thing to have in your backpack out here is a saw or some clippers. I like the Hoyman products. Take the extender off for this hunt because I'm always on the ground. And probably the most important thing to have is a quality backpack. At Hardcore Pursuit, we've been rocking the Horn Hunter backpacks. This happens to be the new straight six model. It's got pockets for your range finder, small gear on this side. This pack will keep the um, back of the pack off your back so air can ventilate through it. And I like to attach my quiver on the side so I can reach back and grab an arrow. through this draw here. We got a low spot in the fence right there. And we're thinking of putting a brush blind on those cedars right there. It'd be real easy, we'll get the Hoyman out. Yesterday we saw him, he went over to the west, we didn't really pressure him. Today he's out there about a mile and he's working his way towards us. It kind of looks like he might go east this time to bed down, which would be really good for us. Still a lot of deer out there, but they look to be all does and fawns. A couple little year and a half old two by twos, but those guys pull in two miles away and the deer just explode. Man, that sucks. You can't control that. I mean, it's gonna make it tough, I'll tell you that. Got a little afternoon storm today, so uh, that's always good for mule deer. It seems like if you get an afternoon rain and uh, they get pretty happy in the afternoon and evening that day. Never underestimate the power of your entrance to your stand. Whether you're out west getting to a spot and stock location, a ground blind out here or back home up in a tree stand, figure out where the deer are and go as far away from them as possible to sneak into your stand. I can shoot out to 100 in this draw, and I probably have a 100 yard radius of shooting lanes, and it's all open. This is sweet. Right. 
was hard to move. That deer was on us. I could have shot him, but he's not really a shooter at this point of the game. We're on a real big boy. One day we don't have the workers here. We've got 50 mile an hour winds. <laughs> Unreal. All the deer are grouping up and running hard. Might be a short hunt this morning. Buddy, it's for your wife. All right, we got a little excitement. Our young hunter here, Drew, got a really nice buck tonight. He's bringing him back, so it'll be pretty cool to see a deer in the back of the truck. You smoke it? Yeah, 40, 40 yards. Did you do all your video stuff you're uh, gonna do? I gotta check the head cam. <laughs> it, it died on me. I got, really? I got pulling it back with the GoPro on my phone. Or, on my head, though. That stuff never goes the way it's supposed to. Yeah. It looks fake, it's so pretty. <laughs> Alright, well, let's. You shot the arrow all the way through front to back? Uh, I hit him on the other side about right here. <laughs> and then uh, it kind of like deflected off the ribcage. It's impressive. <laughs> Found our big boy. And he's way out, which is gonna give us time. But like you said, man, he's running. Again? Yeah. He's jumping. He just hopped to the front. Yeah. If they go west, we're gonna really have to haul ass. Because it's hard to get over there. We got about a 200 yard stretch with no trees that we gotta cover. And then those guys are gonna pull in and scare him, and he's gonna come running out of there. He's going by himself again. This is really good. Really good for us. Okay, let's go. All right, we hustled over here trying to find Lucky Seven. He's about, no, that's our big boy. He's gonna hop right now. He's right standing there. See him? Yep. There he is. We feed him. Oh, there's a, there's a big one. He's just right straight this way. See, he could turn and come right up here too. Oh, man, this close again. Okay, we got lucky. He came across the field. He's on a mission today, so we gotta move. Let's go up to this tree. We just put our first mile on this morning. Wish there was a little smaller tree to hide behind up here. We can't see anything from this thing. Huh? Crest in a hill. Where? Slowly, slowly. No way. We should try to get back up to our spot. Come on. That hill. Yep, he's in the trees. I see him where he is. Going towards the large. Damn it. He's going up our hill.
How did we beat him? There he is. How did... He must have been down here in the woods. This deer is very frustrating. Very, very, very frustrating. Disgusted. Wow. Well, that's a wrap, folks. Two years in a row here with no deer. Got on Lucky 7. We focused on that deer, and that was going to be our deer. We could have went after others, but that was our guy right there. We just struck out and didn't get him, you know. You don't always get one when you go hunting. That's one thing here at Hardcore Pursuit that we like to show you. It's tough, it's challenging, especially when you're trophy hunting and doing some running and gunning and some unconventional stuff like this here. But we had a great time with uh, Sean and Jerry Vogel, Spring Creek Muleys. I mean, I've never been to a place where I've seen more deer. There's giant bucks, lots of bucks. And uh, the accommodations are unbelievable in that great big log cabin. The properties are great, and I'll definitely be back here again. You know, this is the kickoff of uh, season eight for Hardcore Pursuit, and it's been a challenging week so far for us. But you know what? We show you the reality of what happens, and you just never know what's going to happen when you come out west with your bow and uh, try to chase some big muleys. So, so we're kicking off the season with a big zero. No big deal. We're going to move on. We're going to head over to Hotchkiss, Colorado to hunt with Mark Stewart. And I can guarantee we're going to have some more great muley action here on Hardcore Pursuit. It's going to be another great trip.